Last question. Are you optimistic? Um, so that's a tricky question. You know, it, it, sometimes you're working and writing on this stuff. I mean, it's ups and downs. Yeah, sometimes yeah, you yeah. feel inspired. Sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, you know, <laughs> you, you no just want to face palm. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, you know, but ultimately there's really no other way to be except to believe totally in a better future. Um, I mean, we have to be totally committed to that if we're going to do it and do it quickly. And, um, you know, I have a lot of hope uh, that um, Americans, when, when things get really rough, will come together, at least most of us. I think so, too. You know, um, but, you know, in, in the environment we're in right now, I think it's incumbent on everyone, no matter how small or big your platform is, to speak up about what is happening. Uh, I think we are past the time about worrying about what people say about you, about at I, work or at home I have or to tell wherever. You, I, uh, the president gave a speech last night and he, I don't remember what he was calling people. And I thought that just, that is so, I, so, I am so far beyond caring about names and labels that anybody you know and i i think there are more and more people around the world that are like i, I don't care i don't care what you call me i don't care you know what you do i i just know what's true and i'm just not going there with you well the government wants to define what is true and what is not i wrote a recent article um about that uh in explaining some of the calls to basically uh uh, make it such um and it's it's you know even if they try and do that and they try and say this is the state you know the state is defining truth and if you deviate from that you are inciting violence um and all of that but the problem is people at a visceral level gravitate toward the truth mm -hmm. so they hear it and they're like oh that makes sense or they look at the sourcing Mm -hmm. Or they investigate for themselves and they realize what is true and what is not. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the state and Silicon Valley, there's really not that much space yeah. between them, to be honest, right. at this point. Um, you know, they can try and, and censor and manipulate and, and whatever, but ultimately people are, are going to gravitate towards what is true. And there's going to be a point where they're not going to be able to really, the tools they have now will not work. And I think a lot of that is uh, that time will come once people <laughs> stop trying to use these platforms uh, that they are manipulating and start just going out and talking to people they know. Yep. Uh, we have to get offline and we have to do it quickly. Uh, maybe even get back, you know, in pr circulating in print stuff that's printed. I mean, mm -hmm. we really have to stop uh, depend being so dependent on these on these platforms that they're obviously manipulating. I think everyone knows about right. it or they're censoring people from um, and they're using it to profile you. You know, stop giving them your data and start getting in the real world and telling people uh, what's what. I mean, they may call you crazy, but the stakes are too high to not do it. That's how I feel. Thank you. <laughs> my, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.